Well, hello, Mr. Eric. Um, yes, 10 minutes early. I woke up on time. I'd like you welcome you to the show. Hey, Akai, how are you doing today? Welcome to the show. I'm actually going to go watch Star Wars later, so i am um, got the, the day off, but I'm going to work this evening. Yes, this is the uh, ASMR stream, the Bob Ross stream. Gonna be talking like this for the whole stream just to, um, just to celebrate my 100 followers that I got like a month ago. Yes, I have seen Star Wars. This is gonna be my second time, but I'm also gonna be taking the guys I work with instead of just friends. Hello, friend. In the market. An archer, huh? I've got just what you need. Thank you very much for your business. I work for Bellafort at the General Goods Store. So how have you guys this morning has been treating you? <laughs> yes, I did get a new mic. This is allowing me to uh, be able to talk like this and be clear and hopefully not have very much feedback. When do we see the doctor? How did that, did that go? Are you still alive? Can't a man drink in peace? I'm gonna keep this short because we've got a lot to do. Haunting Brew's owner, Sabjorn, is about to hold a tasting for White Run's captain of the guard. We're going you did? To oh, that's, that's very unfortunate. No, no, that's the beauty of the whole plan. We're going to get Sabjorn to give it to us. The meadery has quite a pest problem, and the whole city knows about it. Pest poison and mead don't mix well, you know what I mean? Are you sure about this, Eric? Fancier things have happened in the past. You're going to happen by and lend poor old Sabjorn a helping hand. He's going to give you the poison to use on the pests, but you're also going to dump it into the brewing vat. Maven and I spent weeks planning this. All we need is someone like you to get in there and get it done. Now get going before Sabjorn grows a brain and hires someone else to do the dirty work. I would have to agree with you there, um, Eric. It would be nice to be able to uh, 
do things after you die that you enjoyed here on Earth. Both of the buildings are connected by tunnels made by the pests infesting the meadery. There's an entrance to it in the basement storeroom of the warehouse that used to be boarded over. I've already removed the boards so the meadery would get infested. That's where you should start. Savjorn keeps that locked up tight. If you can get through that way, go right ahead. I made the mistake of borrowing coin from Savjorn. He's allowing me to pay it back, but he's working my fingers to the bone. He treats me like a slave. I have to do every nasty, dirty job in the meadery. If this plan works, what's, what's that, Eric? not only is my debt gone, but I'll be set up for life. Maven and I worked out a little deal. If Savjorn ends up in jail, she's going to take over his meadery. And to referring to Peter's uh, stream that your effect is, you know, it's, it's alright. It's uh, it's your choice. You can do the, the things that you enjoy. As for myself, it's, it's, it's kind of an outdated meme to me, but if people enjoy it, then people enjoy it. I can't deny that pleasure to people. Consider it just more of a dirty work. I did my part getting them in there. Now you need to clear them out. Remember, this guy just seems really lazy. He wants to help from the almighty uh, orc Ross here. He liked it just because it's me. Huh? Well, I can, I can enjoy it since for, for that reason with myself. And I do know that Pete enjoys the sound effect himself. He's mentioned it to me many times that he thinks it's hilarious, so I can kind of get why you guys like it. It was pretty random, and it is something that's just off the wall. It's always something that we can enjoy as a even a even a inside joke for those that may not know what's going on. And Eric, if you think it like this, if you enjoy it, that's all that matters. It is it is yours nonetheless. Did you just not mix the coffee well enough? I personally don't drink coffee, but I would really not like it if that happened to me. The purge has started. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? Af, ajfa. I bet your coffee brewing is quite a day, quite a hobby to do, and may take some talent to do. I, I've never done it personally, so I can't give you any advice.
is going around just picking these wonderful flowers and trying to catch a butterfly. This butterfly is gonna sneak up on it and just grab it. Grab it right by the wings. Oh, well, even cotton. Cotton can go in many different things. Picking this wonderful lavender that I can go with. <coughs> Maybe go with that coffee to, or the cotton to uh, make a wonderful dress or something. Yeah, like I said, I don't know much about coffee. I'm one of those odd gentlemen that uh, hate, even hate the, the smell of coffee. Makes my nose curl right up into my, my head. What are you gawking at? Can't you see I have problems here? Are you kidding me? Look at this place. I'm supposed to be holding a tasting of the new hunting brew reserve for the captain of the guard. If he sees the meadery in this state, I'll be ruined. Oh, really? And I don't suppose you'd just do it out of the kindness of your heart, would you? I hope you're not expecting to get paid until the job's done. Well, that's not how I operate, so forget it. My only demand is that these vermin are permanently eliminated before my reputation is completely destroyed. I bought some poison. I was going to have my lazy good-for-nothing assistant, Malice, handle it. But he seems to have vanished. If you plant this in the vermin's nest, it should... So my guess was right. He is pretty lazy. Don't come back until every one of those things are dead. Malice is the best deal I've ever made. Lent him a bit of gold some time ago. I knew he'd never be able to pay back. Nothing like free labor to make operating costs cheaper. Now I've got to clean up this mess. Well, it, it did take him quite some time, didn't it? I believe that he did a fine, mighty fine job, yet it did seem like he focused on only one person, which wasn't Pete. But what do I know? But it, I did enjoy what I, what I did see. So, so, so don't you worry your little pretty head about that. Yes, I do appreciate your support to the channel, the Eric. 
<coughs> Sorry about that cough, it just came out of nowhere. But thank you for that support. I really appreciate the, that you're willing to uh, support the show. All those spiders are here. It wasn't just rats. Oh. oh, I do think I do think ethnic every time I see him. He has a wonderful support to the show as well. And someone drew some pretty mushrooms on this wall, didn't they? That's some reason I can't focus on. There we go. Well, someone tried to drop some dirt on me. That would have hurt my lip, my pretty little foot, if I would have stepped on that. Oh, that would have, that would have smacked you right in the head. Would not have felt very good at all. Someone was shooting me with lightning, that is not very nice. Can I work there? Oops, I did not mean to do that. Can I work some of this? Make these potions is random fancy cave. I'm sure Twitch has made money off of the subs. They quite enjoyed them from what I understand.
put some poison through that rat's nest so hopefully they don't come back anymore and try and bite you right, bite, bite you right, in, the, right in the buttocks. Is this a silly place to put a key? You've been gifted three subs. I haven't been gifted any subs, so people must like you, Eric, and like the streamers that you watch. Who were the streams that you got gifted to, subs to? Was something we discussed unclear? Well, it's about time. I had to stall the captain until you were finished. You'll just have to wait until after the captain's finished. I suppose you can wait around if you must. Well, Sabjorn, now that you've taken care of your little pest problem, how about I get a taste of some of your mead? Help yourself, my lord. It's my finest brew yet. I call it Hunting Brew Reserve. I think you'll find it quite pleasing to your palate. Oh, come now. This is mead, not some wine to be sipped and savored. What, uh, interesting that he did a f just a whole half turn just to get to his, uh, just get to him. What's in this? I, I don't know. What's wrong? You assured me this place was clean. Oh. I think he's a, f a really nice guy, that is for sure. Please, I don't understand. Silence, idiot. I should have known better to trust this place. <laughs> I think if you do so to his own channel, that's pretty funny though. Please, this is not what it seems. Quite interesting. You, you're in charge here until I can sort this all out. You, you're coming with me to Dragon's Reach. You see how quickly your memory clears in the city's prisons. Now, move. Look, I assure you this is all just a huge misunderstanding. I said, move. Farewell, son. Wow, that guy's walking quite funny. else you need before you head back to Riften? So, Maven wants to hunt down Sabjorn's private partner, huh? You're welcome to take a look around Sabjorn's office. He keeps most of his papers stashed in his desk. Here, this should help. Start changing it over to the Blackbriar Meadery West as soon as possible. That was Maven's part of the deal. She's put me in charge of keeping the mead flowing, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. If you're in the area, if you ever need anything fenced, you just let me know. I thought it would be better to leave some of the details out of our previous discussion. Didn't want to risk you walking away from the job. 
Besides, you've done Maven a favor getting rid of him, and saved me from wasting coin hiring someone else to do it later. Remember to put in a good word with Maven for I will most likely be gone for that, that stream, so I won't be there today, going to that movie. Uh, it's alright. I just won't hit 700 hours uh, sooner than I expected. Seven hundred hours in Pete's stream. Oh, this door is quite quite difficult, isn't it? It's being quite difficult. Oh, we got it though. Might as well do the, the lock picking anyways. That is really awesome. It's quite the accomplishment you got there. Sometimes if you read the book, the books in this game, it gives you skill points. So that's why I was trying to open up every book just to see if I can get some free skill points. We get it, you don't believe it worked.
So Derek, er, er, oh goodness, I'm so sorry. So Eric, me and AJFA was talking about how we're trying to pick in the NFC who's going to the Super Bowl. Um, the division leaders right now are pretty much uh, have a history of choking in the playoffs. So who do you think in the NFC is going to go to the, to the Super Bowl this year? I know you're not Derek, and I apologize deeply from my heart for accidentally calling you that name. You're a stranger here too, huh? You should probably be in bed. Can't you bother me at my armor stand in the market? Or are you that desperate for training? I don't have any business with you, so get out of my face. Caroline again, maybe? Hmm. I didn't know they were the division leaders. Or they just a wild card. I trust you have good news for me. This doesn't tell me much. The only thing that could identify Sabion's partner is this odd little symbol. Well... Whoever this mysterious marking represents, they'll regret starting a war with me. You should bring this information to the Thieves Guild immediately. There's also the matter of your payment. I believe you'll find this more than adequate for your services. Give me just a sword, nice. Saints might be the division leader. Uh. That would be very interesting to see. The Blackbriar family has always been allied with the Guild. Our connections with the Empire and within Skyrim make for a perfect fit. I dare say the Guild owes its survival as much to my family as it does to its own people. Of course, nothing gets done without my approval in this city. I have the Jarl's ear and the guards in my pocket. Anyone makes trouble for me and I pay a visit to the Thieves' Guild. Make me angry and I contact the Dark Brotherhood. You do well to remember that the next time you make such a stupid observation. She is quite a beast, isn't she? I think I just came into a little circle, didn't I? Yep, I just went in a big old circle. in my potions and ingredients. Do you think the Vikings are not going to choke during the playoffs? Isn't their team pretty, pretty young?
It will be interesting to see. I heard something about the Eagles losing their quarterback, so they might they might struggle uh, during that playoff time because of not having their starting quarterback. I don't even know who the backup is. Do you have any take a look? Yes, yes, goodbye. Don't take this the wrong way. He's back with the Eagles again, huh? Yeah, he has some good games, from what I understand. That bull just just jumped up and left, didn't it? Word on the street is that poor Sabjorn has found himself in White Run's prison. How unfortunate for him. Exactly. Now you're beginning to see how our little system works. Maven sent word that you discovered something else while you were out there. Something important to the guild? Then this is beyond coincidence. First Arangar, and now Sabjorn. Someone's trying to take us down by driving a wedge between Maven and the guild. What would that what would that be for for your house to keep it warm or do you use it for something else? Mercer thinks he knows a way to identify this new thorn in our side. He wants to meet with you right away. And if I were you, I'd hurry. I've never seen him this angry before. Oh, it's for the heat your house. Yeah, that would be uh that would be something that you would need to get before it gets too cold. Ah, there you are. 
I've consulted my contacts regarding the information you recovered from Golden Glow Estate, but no one can identify that symbol. I don't recognize that name. It might be called something different in my area. It would seem our adversary is attempting to take us apart indirectly by angering Maven Blackbriar. Very clever. They're well funded, and they've been able to avoid identification for years. I'm impressed it reached this point. Just don't mistake my admiration for complacency. Our nemesis is going to pay dearly. Because even after all their posturing and planning, they've made a mistake. The parchment you recovered mentions a gajal lie. According to my sources, that's an old alias used by one of our contacts. His real name is Gollum I. Gollum I is our inside man at the East Empire Company in solitude. And I'm betting he acted as a go-between for the sale of Golden Glow Estate and that he can finger our buyer. He wants to finger the buyer. That is pretty, uh... Dirty, if you think about it. Something I can help with, or do you just want to talk? I can't believe Gollum Eye's mixed up in all this. That Argonian couldn't find his tail with both hands. Don't get me wrong. He could scam a beggar out of his last septum. He wants to, uh... He wants to play this tell as well as finger the the dude, so very interesting man. He's one of the most stubborn lizards I've ever met. You have your work cut out for you. Yes, it is five days till Christmas. I'm going to have to buy him off. It's the only way to get his attention. If that fails, follow him and see what he's up to. If I know Gullum I, he's in way over his head. Um, excuse me, sir. You're kind of like in the middle of all this. Thanks, man. I'm glad to see you're embracing our methods. It would be a waste to lose a contact at the East Empire Company before we have the entire story. Just keep on Gollum Eye's tail, and he's bound to step into something he can't scrape off his boot. There are thieves. And then there is Gollum Eye. No honor, no code at all. He'd shake your hand and stop you in the uh, back sir? at the same time. Yeah, um, yeah. Keep, no. You need to keep he walking, sir. Thank you. Slim, but I'm certain he's lying. Keep your eyes on him. He's quite crafty. Just head right back to the guild and get the information to Mercer. Nothing else is more important. If you discover Gullum Eyes holding out on us and has more loot stashed away than he claims, we'd find what, that information you staring at over there? valuable as well. I can stare right back at you. A mercantile group that has established ports all over Tamriel. They pretty much dominate the whole shipping industry. Are you doing anything fun to celebrate this holiday, Eric? Hanging out with family or going to any place special? Gullamai works in the East Empire Company warehouse. He helps maintain all of the shipments of goods that goes in and out of solitude. That means he has the pick of the litter from some of the finest goods to grace Skyrim shores. He isn't exactly in the guild, but he pays us a cut of all the stuff he lifts from the warehouse. Good luck in solitude. Keep Gullamai alive. did you need? Well, that's that is mighty fine nice of you. Do you be able to give gifts to your parents like that? In a uh, uh, well fed mill is always a, a plus. Me and my uh, family are going to do that Saturday. Being able to uh, enjoy one another and 
having a meal together and exchanging gifts. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the kind of guy that uh, allows my parents just to give me um, simple basic things for myself as well. Um, just because I have pretty much all I want. So just giving me things I need is always a good thing. I'm going to go find the uh, alchemist really quickly, so I can keep leveling out up my alchemy. She has a lot of ingredients. I can make some mighty fine potions out of these. Next time I remember where her actual po potion table is. There it is. Are there any Christmas football games there, Eric? If there is, I might want to take some time to watch a little bit more of those games, or at least on the day before. I guess it is Monday night. Do you know who plays on Christmas Day? If anybody. I think that's kind of how I am. I know there's things that's going to happen, but I just can't remember what.
Sweet so sweet Texans. Oakland plays Eagles. Hmm. Most likely it's gonna be the Eagles and the Steelers that game, those games, huh? That should be interesting to watch. Might have to go to a friend's house and watch those games. No, no. Mostly I'm just a simple herbalist. Lamy over in Norfolk could be able to help you. If you're looking you were there for Rogvir's execution. Perhaps, but necessary. My cousin Fura is somewhere out there in Skyrim right now. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you there. She wouldn't have to be there at all if it weren't for Rogvir. I know the 49ers beat the Texans, so I just don't see why the Steelers can't. You really don't know? He lets Ulfric Stormcloak escape solitude. Ulfric rides in, murders the High King, and Rogvir lets him ride right back out. Most people head over to the Winking Skeever. If you're not interested in music or drink, you can at least talk to Corpulus. He can fill you in on any of the latest gossip. I'm a little busy at the moment. I've got all sorts of errands. Yeah, I heard there's a lot of, uh, controversy about that how uh, a late game interception just makes it lose makes a team lose like that you know it might be a plot plot against the Steelers we never know oops I accidentally hit that button so what do we have here hmm let me guess by your scent I'd say you were from the guild but that can't be true, because I told Mercer I wouldn't deal with them anymore. I don't deal in land or property. Now, if you're looking for goods, you've come to the right person. Oh, wait. Did you say Golden Glow Estate? Uh, my apologies. I'm sorry to say I know very little about that uh, bee farm, was it? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I can't be expected to remember every deal I handle. I don't care what you promise. If I tell you the buyer's name and word gets around, it can ruin me. Well, now that you mention it, there is something I've been trying to get my hands on. I have a buyer looking for a case of Firebrand wine. that just so happens to be a single case in the Blue Palace. Bring it to me, and we'll talk about Golden Glow Estate. the wrong way. You look a little sicker. Hey, want to get on my face? Pardon me. No, pardon me.
I still personally think that the NFL is rigged, Eric. So, you know, things like that happen. Pardon me. Hey, wanna play tag? Not really. Mother says you shouldn't talk to people. But yeah, you're talking to people. Swing that way, sir. Seems there's always more to be ah, good. Can't have the buyer getting impatient and looking elsewhere for this, can we? Here, take this. I certainly can't use it, but I suppose I need to pay you something for the goods. Not at all. I consider it an investment in prolonging my life. As far as Golden Glow Estate goes, I'll tell you what I know. I was approached by a woman who wanted me to act as the broker for something big. She flashed a bag of gold in my face and said all I had to do was pay Erenkoff for the estate. I brought him the coin and walked away with her copy of the deed. Not at all. I tend not to ask too many questions when I'm on the job. I'm sure you understand. However, I did notice she was quite angry, and it was being directed at Mercer Frey. In this business, we rarely deal in names. Our identity comes from how much coin we carry. Look, that's all I know. I never promised you I'd have all the answers. Now, since our transaction is done, I'll be on my way. We drink to our youth, to the days come and gone, for the age of aggression. You again. We have nothing else to discuss. To be honest with you, Eric, I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to be pretty much streaming it until I get really tired or uh, hungry or both. Or my parents have to be come home, or it gets to the point where it's four o'clock and I have to get ready for work. Hands to yourself, sneaky.
I am going to try to do at least three hours though. Because that's normally how long I stream. Alright, no worries there, Eric. Someone there. Time to end this little game. I think you're bleeding.
whoever did this. Well, that's a mighty fine axe, isn't it?
No! Not like this! Alright then. That was an odd little scuffle we had there, didn't we? Seems like that happened again. These people like to jump off the little cliffs, don't they? <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry about that. Seems to have a little cough here. This game is a little broken. He was pretty much touching me, but yet still couldn't see me. This game almost just does not make sense sometimes. Maybe the dude was blind. Maybe. I guess I'm not the one to make fun of uh, disabilities like that. Or have any. You, you could be very right, Eric. What was that? I'm getting out of here. Now there's no need to do anything rash. This isn't as bad as it seems. I was gonna tell Mercer about everything. Oh, I need to kill those guys next time. That kind of hurt, didn't it? Got trapped. I got trapped monologuing.
I sure did that, didn't I? I'm gonna use my sword this time instead of my bow and arrow. That way I can not have to worry about keep, keep missing and the game glitching a little bit. Oh no worries Eric, I really do appreciate your, um, your chilling from the, the, the distance and able to allow me to uh, have the self confidence to, you know, stick it with the sun don't shine. What is that, Eric? Oh. 
Um, there's more a, a friend of mine used to stream on Twitch, and I had never heard of Twitch before. Before he started, so he showed me the website. Um, he stopped streaming. I, I took a break from Twitch, and he kept talking to me about streaming myself, but I never had the opportunity to, to since I didn't have an Xbox One at the time. But then I just randomly popped up on Twitch again, and I saw Pete playing World of Warcraft, so I started watching him. And then I, was, I did see how fun he was having with the people he got to talk to. And I was like, i always been wanting to meet new people and meet gamers from around the world to see the different uh, society outside of my little community. So I, in a way, yes, Pete helped me want, have the want to stream. So I came and started streaming, and here we are. What was that? Eric, thank you so much for those 60 bits. I really do appreciate you supporting this show and able to uh, be the awesome man that you are. I really have enjoyed the support that you've given to, to the stream of the show. And I really do hope you uh, enjoy, enjoy the things that we have been doing here. And thank you so much for donating part of that to the charity as well. I didn't know there was a charity event going on, so I appreciate you doing that. And show me that there is a uh, charity event coming going on today. Yes, I am. I am trying to stream more during the day, as you as you can see. It has just been difficult for me to do so. The, the support that you've given to me, Eric, either way, has been much appreciated. And if it's a little, bit, supposedly a little bit here and there, I appreciate it nonetheless.
as you know, Eric, you being here and just talking is more than enough. I enjoy our conversations more than you know. Yeah, I, I, when you do a stream, and I am not busy, I definitely want to come back and talk to you more. Now that I know that you are streaming more, I'm trying to turn on your no the notifications and come in when I'm not busy. De I'll definitely come watch you play Rocket League, even though it's not my favorite game. through the back. Poor lady. Well, toxic people are ridiculous. I've had people tell me about that. Tell me that about a bunch of different games. The best way to do it is just not to listen and tell them to, tell them to go, uh, you know, go to the place that they probably know they're going to anyways. You have an excellent point there, Eric. The world uh, doesn't really need to uh, dictate what you do with your life. You do what you enjoy and enjoy it while you do it.
All right in the kisser. Isn't as bad as it seems. I was gonna tell Mercer about everything, honestly. Please, he'll have me killed. All right, all right. It's Carlia. Her name is Carlia. Mercer never told you about her? Carlia is the thief responsible for murdering the previous guildmaster, Gallus. Now she's after Mercer. Help! No, no! Look. I didn't even know it was her until after she contacted me. Please, you have to believe me. I don't know. When I asked her where she was going, she just muttered, where the end began. Here, take the Golden Glow Estate as proof. And when you speak to Mercer, tell him I'm worth more to him alive. Hello Pete, how are you doing today? How has work been treating you this fine afternoon? you heard uh, heard me on Twitter I announced that I'm doing a little bit of a soft-spoken Bob Ross kind of thing too so I'm purposely putting my voice really low and pretty deep of you uh, to entertain the people for my 100 follower celebration that I had about a month ago but I'm finally I'm doing to enjoy all the support that I've been giving to the show so I am purposely putting my voice to be a different tone and volume Oh, no worries about that. I was just, I just announced it there so people wouldn't know when they came into my stream that my um, voice would be a little different. And I do work today. I'm just going to the Star Wars again with my clients instead of friends. So I'll be headed off to watch the movie later this evening. So I will miss your stream, but that's okay because I know you know that I will support it when I get back home. My voice is highly erotic, I see. Well, I did announce that I was doing a Bob Ross stream today. And welcome to the show, Juice. I really do appreciate you stopping by and saying hello. It just depends how you look at it. <laughs> well, if you do think about it, it is more of a show than a, than a stream right now. I am acting, so I am in a show. Sure, Pete. Uh, uh, Mr. Rayman did the same thing and had me say things that he typed out as well. So I don't see why he couldn't. Eric, thank you so much for those bits. I really do appreciate that, man. 
thank you for support of the show and able to show me that you've enjoyed it. Well, I'm glad that you are enjoying this juice. And yes, Eric is here. He has been watching from the get-go and enjoying this, this show as well. As you can see, he's donating bits towards charity to assist those people in need. Well, that would be highly interesting, wouldn't it? Well, that's a random ladder that leads to absolutely nowhere, doesn't it? Oh, there's this chest that I can try and pick. And see what's inside. Oh, we got some mighty fine gold and a couple of potions that I enjoy. Well, that's a mighty fine, awesome deal that Twitch does for the community, the community and charity. It's highly nice of them. Oh dear, that was a very random uh, link, but I'll, I'll read it out for you. I'm going to mute it so I can get, I'm just going to put the mic really close to my face while I read this for you. According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly the wings are too small and it gets to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway because the bee doesn't care what the human thinks is impossible. <laughs> it's supposed to come from their end. But since it yeah, it is still good for, the, for Twitch to show off some charity for that. And of course, did you put it that way? I get really close again and tell Pete, you know, read Pete's uh, current comment saying, Thank you, Senpai. And, and Ray and Manny kept telling me to say, Spank me, Daddy. I just realized I put the microphone pretty far away from my face and I put it back down. I even thought if this becomes a pretty big hit, I might do this like once or twice a week. To, to, to practice and realize how to better express myself in this voice.
<laughs> well, you are an adult. You're allowed to do some bad things every once in a while. Clears browser history because you just never know what people might think when they look at it. Purchase my mobile history. That might be a very good, very good idea. Especially if your boy, your boyfriend sees it, you never know what he's gonna think. Yeah, it does just look this different, a very small hint of a different color of white. But yeah, you yeah, know, there are no, there are no mistakes, just happy accidents. Hashtag white name problems. To be honest with you, that is pretty much consists of my my browser history as well. Eric says that yet he watches a Minecraft streamer on tw on, on the Twitch. You know, as much as people don't like Minecraft, they do watch a lot of Minecraft streams. I stream Minecraft more than you expect, Mr. Eric. I do stream Skyrim because it's just an easier uh, way to talk with this voice and take a break and look at chat. Minecraft was probably an easy one too. Might have to try and do that later. Look at me, I'm a motherfucking bow. Take a hard, good hard look. I'm on a motherfucking bow.
you are one, dead goat. Well, that's a mighty ferocious beast, isn't it? Oh, it disappears on me once I realize how ferocious and scary it could be. should probably be in bed. You're looking a bit under the weather. For a dragon to attack Kynes Grove. Why? Why there? And what might you need, too? I have gone the wrong way again. I'm getting really good at that. I do enjoy what you made on my my creative server on Xbox on Minecraft as well. It was a fantastic little art project that you did for me. I will be trying to do that yet again someday soon. Yeah, I will be trying to do another stream with people that can come and enjoy and build more stuff. But I'm just trying to pick a day where it would be a good time for everyone to come in. So you're an alchemist then. Don't forget us if you need supplies for your journey. You're here for lessons like Ingen. A 
unnatural. Oh dear, I didn't mean to say she was right. It's the things she makes here, the, the things she says, and all those poor little animals she tests them on. This place has seen better days. Do you have a... Take a look. Yes, yes. Where's my... Take a look. Oh, they must share gold. Don't forget us if you need supplies. I wish there was a quick way to get to the top of your list. That's okay. Excuse me, I could not get to my meat button fast enough. My food is the best in all of Skyrim. Always as fresh as the day it was born. I presume you're bothering me for a good reason. What in the name of oblivion do you want? Sorry, I had to adjust some stuff. I didn't mean to bump I didn't mean to bump my mic. Maybe we can work something out if you have trouble with the loop. Put it on truck. It don't look so good. Are you feeling all right? What brings you to Balamut today? Repent take a look. If you need any more smithing work, come see me again. You're quite hungry, huh? Well, there's, I'm sure there's things that you can go and make and 
have a fantastic lunch. I really do hope you find something that it will be enjoyable to you for your lunchtime. What kind of stuff will you probably be making for the, your lunch? I am the same way. I have not eaten lunch myself. I might go do that at, at a, sometime soon. I'm not sure when, though. Did Gullamai give up any information on our buyer? No, it, it can't be. I haven't heard that name in decades. This is grave news indeed. She's someone I hope to never cross paths with again. Carlia destroyed everything this guild stood for. She murdered my predecessor in cold blood and betrayed the guild. After we discovered what she'd done, we spent months trying to track her down, but she just vanished. Carlia and I were like partners. I went with her on every heist. We watched each other's backs. I know her techniques, her skills. If she kills me, there'll be no one left that could possibly catch her. If only we knew where she was. There's only one place that could be. The place where she murdered Gallus. A ruin called Snowvale Sanctum. We have to go out there before she disappears again. Oh, that is a delectable lunch indeed. That sounds like a fantastic plan. Uh, just be make sure you make enough of the whole show. That way we can all enjoy it in that delectable, wonderful dish that you make for us. Yes, I'm going with you, and together we're going to kill her. Here's your payment for solitude. Prepare yourself and meet me at the ruins as soon as you can. We can't let her slip through our fingers. Talk to me. Okay. I don't know how to share. Well, I don't know what to tell you there as well. Sharing is caring, just to put that into your head so you oh a bit of this and a bit of that oh a bit of this and a bit of that good day ready for some work or are you just gonna wander around all day Walking away without taking a job? Got lots of jobs available. Interested? Stick with me, and he'll never even know you're there. Walking away without taking the Even if you're one of us, us you better not make trouble. Here. It's one thing to say you've got the skills to be a thief. It's another to actually use them. Well, looks like you're fitting in well down here. I'm supposed to allow you to trade in one of your pieces of guild armor. So what will it be? Of course. Otherwise it wouldn't be much of a reward, now would it? Your new piece will enhance your skill beyond that of the original. Trust me. I can't remember what does what. Let me go see. So 
So if I do the, do the armor. I'm supposed to allow you. Of course. Of your new piece will enhance your skill beyond that of the original. Are you sure? Once I exchange it for you, I'm. Okay, there you go. That is fancy indeed. Speak quickly. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find you look up. So, you're interested in my potions and ingredients. from the bottom up this time. Change it up a little bit. I don't appreciate loitering. That's what you're here to do. Quintus, could you fetch me a copy of the firmament? I need to prepare the old star charge for these days. Did they really record the star positions in the Colonial's tomb? There's no way it's that precise. Determine the season of his marriage, which I have cross reference. I I apologize, Master. Don't waste time apologizing. Just find the book. Gawking at goods, if you know what he, he means. 
Must take a look. Oh, that does sound like a, a mighty fine meal. Do you have enough to share with the with the crowd? you today juice offering all this food but not sharing with anyone What day is that going to be? I might have to make my way over. Can I, can, I, can Eric come too? Since you're offering for everyone. The 25th. Okay, Monday, Monday, guys. Everyone, let's meet at Juice's house so we can eat all of her food and, and enjoy the company of her family. There you have it, everyone is invited. She says that she's even going to offer presents to us, it sounds like. So she's going to buy a bunch of presents for us to come in, eat our food and give us presents. She is a my fine... Fine, nice young lady, isn't she? I'm sure there's going to be a very myriad uh, choices of delectable dishes there, Eric. I'm sure it's not just going to be steak, it could be other things as well. As you can see, she said that there's going to be various different different dishes for us to enjoy and have some fun and open presents afterwards. Some delectable cheesecake, she says. Cheesecake is a mighty fine delectable dish. dragon in the distance but I was unable to find it but that's okay 
I don't want to be chomped on by a dragon if I can help it. Oh, there's that. There's a mighty fine bear right there. He bites. Oh. That was a awkward uh, death scene, if you ask me. Nom nom nom. Nom 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 indeed. Oh, where's the thing? Oh, it's down there. I was able to throw it. Yo! Oh, that must not have gone far enough. That's okay. <laughs> Scary makes people enter into horrors. You might be right. Scouted the ruins, and I'm certain Carlia is still inside. No, I found her horse. Don't worry, I've taken care of it. She won't be using it to escape. Let's get moving. I want to oh, that man killed a horse. Take the He's a little ruthless, isn't he? under the impression I was in charge. You're leading and I'm following. Does that seem clear to you? Just make certain you keep your eyes open. Carlia is as sharp as a blade. The last thing I need is you blundering into a trap and warning her that we're here. Let's get going. Say that these ancient
ancient Nordic burial mounds are sometimes impenetrable. Mm, too difficult. Quite simple, really. I don't know what the fuss is about these locks. All it takes is a bit of know-how. A lot of skill. That should do it. Maybe, maybe so, maybe not. Well, that's a little rude, isn't it? A little White Walker action before Game of Thrones, I see.
be important. Oh, hi, Oni. How are you doing today? A bit stressed from work, but otherwise it's good. What do you mean by stress from work? Just a lot of papers to grade or what's going on? Yeah, it's getting up there, isn't there, Eric? I hate to do this, guys, but I really need to use it to little, little boy's outhouse. So I'll be um, pausing it here and muting my mic for a minute so I can go use the restroom while you guys type and tell me your fantastic stories. I'll be right back.
Well, hello guys, I'm back. And then just, I read over the chat and a bit of Oni, but do you mean the job that you have that helps the, the Twitch streamers that allows them to uh, be partnered and, and what have you? Or are you talking about another thing? Or am I just not caught up with your life as much as I should be? If you don't mind me asking, what do you mean by different, uh, different directions that you're being pulled in? Yeah, I don't know exactly how that all works out, Eric. Well, it's kind of exciting. It's real. It's kind of exciting if you really think about it. You and your job is ever growing and you're able to uh, do different things within it that way you can never you never be stagnant and never be bored with the job that you're doing so that, that's news to me Eric I did not know about that Yes, I understand that completely. I do need to spend a little more time on Twitter. I haven't been on there for quite some time other than posting stuff about my stream or the, sh the show that you're currently watching. I do need to get better at that. I don't know who she snaps is, so it's kind of cool that you have been getting potential customers anyways, only. That's fantastic. I'm glad, that, I'm glad that your customers are actually falling through and be able to uh, enjoy that brand recognition for people. Do you only work with female streamers there, Oni? Oh, 
That makes perfect sense. Oh, I don't blame you. Focusing on women is always a, a fantastic thing to do to pass your time. said that you did. I'm just stating the fact that focusing on women is never a bad thing. Hold on, I think someone uh, is in my... In my property, I need to go see if it's someone that I need to pay attention to. I'll be right back. Oh, it was just a neighbor. No, no worries there. And also, sorry about your pinky toe. I hate when I hit hit that on things. It's never, never, never present. And don't worry, my neighborhood is pretty nice. Never have to worry about it. I just was wondering if someone's delivering Christmas presents or not. For those who don't know, I live in a, a very small town in a community of uh, around only like 1,000 people, so the crime is not too crazy unless you have um, prescription drugs within your house. Then people do come in and try to take those, but we don't have to worry about that too much anymore. The cops have really have been cracking down a lot lately, so those things don't happen very often anymore. There was just a year that it got pretty bad at one time. Oh, my tummy just rumbled. I think it is getting kind of close to my, my lunch time, but I will be streaming for quite some more time so I can be able at least to stream for at least three hours. That way I can have everyone enjoy the show today. What are you cheesing? I don't know if he's banned or not, Eric. What's going on? Oh, uh, 
yeah, there was some time where my neighbors that would go to get prescription drugs, people would follow them home and then come to the house after they after they um, left their house alone and would steal their prescription drugs. I may have, I don't know. I will, wor I will worry about that after a streamer, Eric. But thank you for so much for that information. To be honest with you, it was probably a mistake I made. I probably was trying to ban someone else instead. I was wondering why he hasn't been in the stream for a long time. I'll worry about after stream, to be honest. To be honest, he's never been really nice, completely nice to me anyways, so... I'll worry about it later.
to be honest with you, it was a mistake, but it's more probably a little bit of a happy accident than anything. Enjoy those almonds there. Juice. What are you, what we're on about? Ah, one of the infamous Nordic puzzle doors. How quaint. Without the matching claw, they're normally impossible to open. But I'm certain Carlyle already did away with it. I'm working on it. Fortunately, these doors have a weakness. You know how to explain it. <laughs> Quite simple, really. Carlyle's close, I'm certain. Now let's get moving. I guess Mercer did it for me. Idiot. <laughs> I gotta watch out for a, a boulder somewhere, don't I? Oh. It's 
Something just happened and put me to sleep, didn't it? Do you honestly think your arrow will reach me before my blade finds your heart? Give me a reason to try. You're a clever girl, Carlia. Buying Golden Glow Estate and funding Haunting Brew Meadery was inspired. To ensure an enemy's defeat, you must first undermine his allies. It was the first lesson Gallus taught us. You always were a quick study. Not quick enough, otherwise Gallus would still be alive. Gallus had his wealth and he had you. All he had to do was look the other way. Did you forget the oath we took as Nightingales? Did you expect him to simply ignore your methods? Enough of this mindless banter. Come, Carlia. It's time for you and Gallus to become reunited. I'm no fool, Mercer. Crossing blades with you would be a death sentence. But I can promise the next time we meet, it will be your undoing. Interesting. It appears Gallus's history has repeated itself. Carlia has provided me the means to be rid of you, and this ancient tomb becomes your final resting place. But do you know what intrigues me the most? The fact that this was all possible because of you. Farewell. I'll be certain to give Brynjolf your regards. Well, that's not very nice, is it? Easy. Easy. Don't get up so quickly. How are you feeling? Hold on. You shot me? No. I saved your life. My arrow was tipped with a unique paralytic poison. It slowed your heart and kept you from bleeding out. Had I intended to kill you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. <laughs> Guy got a point, Juice. My original intention was to use that arrow on Mercer. But I never had a clear shot. I made a split-second decision to get you out of the way that prevented your death. Without the antidote I administered, you'd be as still as a statue. I treated your wounds and didn't leave you defenseless. The poison on that arrow took me a year to perfect. I only had enough for a single shot and yet I used it on you. All I had hoped was to capture Mercer alive. Mercer must be brought before the guild to answer for what he's done. He needs to pay for Gallus's murder. My purpose in using Snowvale Sanctum to ambush Mercer wasn't simply for irony's sake. Before both of you arrived, I recovered a journal from Gallus's remains. I suspect the information we need is written inside. I wish I knew. The journal has written in some sort of language I've never seen before. Gallus's friend at the College of Winterhold. Of course. It's the only outsider Gallus trusted with the knowledge of his Nightingale identity. There were three of us. Myself, Gallus, and Mercer. We were an anonymous splinter of the Thieves Guild in Riften. Perhaps I'll tell you more about it later. Right now, we need to head for Winterhold with the journal and get the translation. Here, take these as well. They may prove useful for your journey. Mercer lied to the guild, branded me a murderer, and slandered my name across his network of contacts. 
For 25 years I ran, never sleeping in the same place twice and carefully covering my tracks. Mercer doesn't need to die. He needs to feel the cold sting of fate as his life crumbles in front of him and he's hunted by the guild. I can promise you if it comes to that and my back's to the wall, I won't hesitate. He was a scholar, a master thief, and a natural leader. Everyone respected him and followed him without question. It was Gallus who inducted me into the Nightingales and honed my skills to a razor-sharp point. I owe everything to him. We were very close. That means they banged. Gallus once said he felt comfortable around me, able to let his guard down. I can't help but think that I'm responsible for what happened to him. I'm afraid not. There are preparations to make, and Gallus's remains to later. All right, after the three hours worth of uh, the Bob Ross stream, I'm going to go back to my normal voice now. My voice is kind of hurting, to be honest. Remember, speak only to Anthra. Trust no one. <laughs> Thank you, Oni. Is this the voice I was trying to do? I watched a lot of his uh, shows to be able to do it. Try and do it at least. I'm gonna try and do more streams like that too, just because I think it was, a lot, it was a lot of fun, but my voice is just kind of hurting. And I think if I did it more often, then I'll be able to do it for longer, but voice is a little bit rough. Thanks, Juice. And I'm probably gonna be playing for about another half an hour because. I am getting pretty dang hungry, and I do need some food. And I have been streaming for pretty much three hours, so that's my normal stream time. But I'm going to kind of just do a few more things, and then I'll go and eat, and then kind of enjoy my day until I have to go to work. And see if I want to unban any though. Just I honestly didn't even know I did. Dare to be honest with you. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of those lately, too. Oh, 
got the tea. There you go. I think I had more hours than that. No, I, I did memorize Pete's stream cause, or Pete's hours because I did watch his thing go up. And Eric, I, I know you're doing that. It's pretty funny if you ask me. I kind of sworn that you had more hours to be honest, but guess not. I should be walk, watching where I'm walking, huh? I don't remember his a fragile thing. It could be. But since he's so like far up from everyone else, I think we're he's like a good a good amount of hours. person to own his own, like 250 hours away from him so I think he's he's doing just fine
my my internet's kind of freaking out a little bit, isn't it? Gallus's journal? Problem? Let me see it. Ah, oh, this is just like Gallus. A dear friend, but always too clever for his own good. He's written all of the text in the Falmer language. No. However, I know someone who might. The court wizard of Markarth, Calselmo. May have the materials you need to get Carcelmo. to the oh, great. That's what I was learning to him. Calselmo is a fierce guardian of his research. Getting the information won't be easy. He was a dear friend of mine. And a surprisingly astute pupil of academia. I was devastated when he was killed. I suppose that risk always coexisted with his line of work. I just never thought his luck would run out. Well, for the thrill, of course. He was quite clear that he felt more in his element climbing through a window rather than hunched over a dusty tome. <laughs> ah, yes, quite an amusing anecdote, actually. I caught him trying to break into my laboratory. I was about to show him the error of his ways when he made a curiously astute comment about my research notes. I was astounded and in turn led to a conversation. Who would have imagined it would lead to such a strong friendship? In the time before man, they were known as the Snow Elves. They lived in the sunlight and had a very prosperous society. Like the Altmer? Yes, I would say their culture quite possibly rivaled our own. The Nords went to war with the Falmer in the First Era. Killed them by the thousands to drive them from their snowy homeland. The Falmer retreated underground and forged an uneasy alliance with the Dwarves who ended up betraying them. This betrayal made them what they are now. Horrible, blind monstrosities with a burning hatred of any but their own kind. Yes, I suppose you're right. Forgive me. I've lost several close friends to the Falmer, and it tends to distort my view. If you wish to learn more about them, you're welcome to my tome on the subject. It should be on my table. Besides the fact that there are only a handful of people in Tamriel that even recognize the language, I'm fairly certain... The new video? New video of what, bud? Heist ...that involved a deep understanding of the Falmer language. Sadly, we never had the opportunity to speak about the details. Ironically, I pointed him in the same direction I pointed you, to Markarth and Calselmo. I'm only hoping whatever means he used to learn the language will still be available to you. Calselmo is stubborn as oh, a mule. Be nice. careful when you speak to him. I'll have to check that out later. If there's anything you need, just let me know. The mages don't let us go to the college. What is it? Asser says his paw because the college makes lots of bad things happen. I'll do what's necessary so we can get by. 
have to, since I can't very far. I'm sure you... So I, I've been burned a few times, made a few bad deals, but mostly wasn't by choice. Options were in short. Without the coin to pack up and leave, yeah, I, I shouldn't have believed the story and just some something about place. What was I thinking? I don't even care anymore. You want to check it out? Fine. Fine. Here, you get killed. But I suppose if it does actually turn out to be worth something, let me know, will you? You need. Cross the bridge at your own peril. The way is dangerous and the gate will not open. You shall not gain entry. Oh, forgive me. Most who arrive here do so because they have heard of the college beforehand. This is the College of Winterhold. A safe haven for mages in Skyrim. A place of wisdom and arcane knowledge. I am here to assist those seeking the wisdom of the college. And if, in the process, my presence helps to deter those who might seek to do harm, so be it. The more important question is, why are you here? Perhaps, but what is it you expect to find within? Do you? It is true there are some here who have spent years studying the accumulated knowledge of the scrolls. But what you seek does not come easily and can destroy those without a strong will. It would seem that the college has what you seek. The question now is what can you offer the college? She hasn't shown up for a while, so it's not her name's not in the bot. That's why Dionysus isn't above you anymore or below you anymore. A small test, if you will. No, I'm afraid I don't know anything of the sort. Excellent. The Mage Light spell is useful to any mage, not just those specializing in alteration. Can you cast one on the seal on the ground? I look forward to it. What do you want me to cast? Mage Light? I don't have that spell actually. Winter holds glory days, man. No. Well, if you think you're capable of it, then I'd be happy to provide it to you for a mere 30 gold. Or you can try your luck with one of the court wizards around Skyrim. They also sell spells. Here you are. Now I'm anxious to see you cast it. Well done indeed. I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, apprentice. I'll lead you across the bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabel Irvine, our master wizard. Please, follow me. No matter what, the college will endure.
winter holds glory days may lie behind it, but the college lives... I've made myself rather clear. Yes. Sir. Welcome to the college. Another new student. I'm surprised at how many of you there are lately. Well, first you'll need these. While you're not required to wear them, you may find them more to your liking than your current clothes. I'll give you a brief tour, and then we'll get you to your first class. Are you ready to begin? Wonderful. Please follow me, and don't wander off. The College of Winterhold has been affected by the for thousands of years. The prominent feature here is the Hall of the Animals. It's our primary location for lecture study. The Arcanian is located. While technically in charge of the college, the Archmage's responsibility is often to keep him occupied. Thus, I run the day to day Another functions. new apprentice, now, I see. Are you of the sort that believe you're here to change the world? Or are you only in it for yourself? I assure you that I shall be watching you all very closely. Now that stability has been established between the Dominion and the Empire, we seek only to help Skyrim, to guide its people through this time of transition, to help lead them to a better future. I am an advisor to the Archmage. The Thalmor wish to promote relations with your college. I am at the Archmage's disposal if he requires advice. Perhaps not as often as he should. In time, I believe he will be more trusted. Alright guys, I'm getting extremely hungry, and when I get hungry I'm a little hangry, so I'm going to end stream here, I'm going to end stream here, thank you so much guys for the support, and all the, just the wonderful guys that you, wonderful people, guys and girls that you are, um, supporting the stream, supporting the things I like to do.
Um, in turn, I hope I can support you guys with your hopes and dreams as well. Um, I'm going to get some lunch. I will be at Pete's stream whenever I get off work, if he's still streaming tonight. Um, and I will be also streaming again tonight at my normal time, streaming some Minecraft. So you guys are more than welcome to come say hi to then as well. Um, like I said, thank you so much for all you guys do. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys soon.